standard 4 evs 1 good afternoon my dear children before we begin with our new lesson i would like to ask you few things about our environment so think and answer in your mind look at this picture one is plastic bags and the other is cloth bags now which one should we use yes the cloth bags in this picture a girl is throwing garbage in the dustbin while in the other picture you can see the garbage is being thrown into the river now think and tell me which is the right thing to do yes we must throw it in the dustbin and in this picture children are planting trees while in the other picture the man is cutting trees yes you are all smart children and you know that planting trees is the right thing to do now in the following pictures that is using plastic bags throwing garbage in the river and cutting trees are harmful for our environment so my dear children today we are going to learn a new lesson that is are we endangering our environment here you can see two pictures one is of 20 years ago and the other one is of the same place but how it looks today that is at present now what difference do you see in these pictures look carefully my dear children the picture that is taken 20 years ago shows us a beautiful open field a big tree and a railway track but today in that same place yes of course the railway track is still there but there are no trees or plants it's only buildings and roads now let us see the progress made by human beings man is more intelligent than all other animals now that you saw even in the last lesson how he invented the wheel to make his life more comfortable he makes use of his intelligence that is he keeps on making new inventions like microwave washing machine mobile phones etc now all living things that is birds animal insects all these make use of what they find in their environment but it is only man who can carefully study the things in the environment and produce new things now let us see how fuel 150 years ago researchers found from the environment mineral oil and also how to use it so man got this new fuel to use due to which he invented vehicles that would run on this like cars bus truck scooter etc he also developed railway engines that would run on coal in olden days when there were no vehicles how did man travel from one village to another think my dear children in those days if one had to travel from one village to another he had to walk or ride on a horseback or bullock cart various animals were used to carry burdens or to draw carts roads and railways were built for transportation so now we travel by bus trains and many other modes of transport this helps us to save both time and labor water the next thing that man is using from the environment is water we all need water to live and my dear children you all know the various sources of water water is also used in the factories 
now factories are set up to manufacture the things we need but do you know the waste water from these places are let into the rivers which pollutes that is dirties the river water in this way the environment is harmed that causes harmful effects on all living things growth of the population population means people a census was done in 1951 and then in 2011 what was the population of our country now census means the counting of people or the population the population of our country is three times than what it was 60 years ago and it is still growing due to which demand for all the things are also increasing crowding of cities people began to move to the cities as they could not get jobs that is work in villages so the population in the cities began to grow and started getting crowded now because of this there was not enough houses for everybody to stay cutting of trees people have started using the fields and cutting down the trees there so as to make space to build new houses due to which now there are not much trees in our cities but other than us human beings birds also need trees to build their nests but trees have vanished from the cities so they do not find places to build their nest pollution in cities one has to travel long distances to get to work so people began to buy vehicles now these vehicles run on fuels that let out so much of smoke this smoke mixes with the air and people breathe this polluted air as a result people are having breathing problems like asthma and other lung disorders due to this smoke even the birds are facing a lot of problems due to which you see very few birds in the cities the number of butterflies and insects are also reducing shortage of water now because of so many people cities began to experience shortage of water this is because more the number of people more the usage of water even birds and animals are no longer sure of getting water when they are thirsty the drainage system there is an increase in the number of houses due to the increasing population but in the cities the drainage system that is the waste water from our houses fails which means it gets collected or does not flow out properly because of which it gets collected in places where people are living you must have seen in some places dirty water being collected now mosquitoes grow in it and they spread diseases like malaria dengue chikungunya etc this shows we are not taking care of our environment ground water is drying up now increase in population is causing scarcity of water which means as a number of people are increasing the usage of water from the lakes rivers ponds etc are also increasing due to which the water is getting over so people are now using ground water but now even the ground water is drying up let us see how the common uses of water are domestic use which is at home for cleaning washing cooking watering plants etc agricultural use which is for farming and industrial use that is in the industries and factories now water is an important need for all living things we all use water daily for various purposes 
but as the rainy season ends the water in the rivers decreases water in the wells too are reducing due to which water does not last until the next rains so many villages face a serious scarcity of water in the summer season because by then the water is almost getting over now the population keeps growing but the rainfall still remains the same so to store this rain water dams were built also to make use of the ground water people began to use bore wells rather than draw wells in villages you still see people using hand pumps to lift water now my dear children you have learned about these in detail in our lesson storage of water availability of food along with water the growing population also needs food so food produced in the country was not sufficient enough for this population now man is intelligent so he developed improved methods of farming earlier farmers would grow only one crops in the year now they can grow two or three crops every year as a result food production increased but to cultivate so many crops we need more water already there is shortage of water but we also need more water for agriculture previously water was needed for farming only during the rainy season but now as three crops are taken we need water almost for 8 months so from where do we get the water for farming and for all our other needs as it rains only during the rainy season do you know my dear children from where do we get this water rain water that has seeped into the soil is used now if you know the water in the wells and bore wells are nothing but the rain water that has seeped into the ground which we call ground water so we use this water now let us learn about some traditional methods of drawing water from wells in the konkan region there are groves of coconut bananas and betel nut now groves are trees that are grown in rows they are watered using the water wheel to lift water from the wells now what is a water wheel a horizontal beam is placed over the mouth of the well it supports a large wooden wheel which turns around now this wheel is called the rahat to this wheel several pots are fixed now these pots are called gadge now have you heard this word gadge yes last year we learned the lesson gadge maharaj so when the wheel turns the chain of pots turns with it one by one they dip into the water in the well and they fill as they come up now as the wheel turns each pot turns over and the water gets poured into a channel from there it flows into the grooves this water wheel is turned with the help of a bullock or a male buffalo such water wheels or rahat gadge are still used in the konkan region another traditional method of drawing water is a mot another traditional method of drawing water is a mot a mot is used in other parts of maharashtra for lifting well water now what is a mot it is a large leather bag tied to a rope mm-hmm. it is lowered into the water and when it is full it is lifted out of the well this water is then used in the fields now a ramp is made on which bullocks move forward and backward that is to help lower the bag 
and to lift it. But this method is used in very few places now. So these were the traditional methods. Nowadays, fields are watered using diesel or electric pumps. These mechanical pumps can lift water many times. Since more than one crop is grown every year, the pumps are used to lift water even after the rainy season. As a result, the water stored underground is getting used up rapidly. So, remember, while taking things we need from the environment, we must take care not to harm the environment. My dear children, I hope you understood the lesson. Fill in the blanks. In summer, there is a scarcity of water in many villages and cities. A bullock or a male buffalo is used to turn the water wheel or rahat garge. A moth is a large leather bag. Answer the following questions. How has the discovery of electricity made human life more comfortable? Fans, lights, etc. that work on electricity make our lives more comfortable. Travelling by bus or train saves both time and labour. Electric pumps can lift many times more water than moths ever could. How is our environment endangered? The wastewater from the factories let into the rivers can have harmful effects on all living things. The growing population leads to shortage of food, water and houses. The smoke from vehicles pollutes the air causing breathing problems, asthma and other lung disorders. Mosquitoes breeding in dirty water cause various diseases.